Okay, boys and girls, sports fans, Den here, JDOD, and I'm with the absolutely gorgeous Yvette Cameron, Mrs. P Mrs. HR or Mrs. HCM. <laughs> HCM. Please. HCM, right. So once again, we're at M4, and they've been talking about some fairly new things, although you've written about it in the past, mm -hmm. right? So tell me, what, what are your impressions this time around, having had an opportunity to see them? Yeah, you know, I, um, I had a chance to review the uh, Lawson HCM applications back in February. And at that time, I had a great uh, impression that a lot of progress was being made to advance HCM. Mm. And the future roadmap entailed a lot of integration with the uh, IN410 platform, especially the ION platform. So now I've had a chance a couple of days to talk to the teams, both from the IN4 and the Lawson side. I guess I would say um, the progress is definitely being made on the HCM side. I've seen tremendous new functionality in the talent management capabilities, a great UI and, and uh, new capabilities. Mm. The plans for workforce management are really coming along, an entirely new look and feel and, and mobile capabilities. Um, I'm a little disappointed that we aren't seeing more integration with the Infor 10 platform. There's tremendous opportunity mm. for integration, for uh, leveraging the motion platform, and that's not quite here yet, but th they're talking a lot about those plans as we look to the future. Okay. When you say there's opportunity, what do, what do you mean by opportunity from a, a customer standpoint? What can they get from this that perhaps they can't get today? Yeah. Um, so today the loss in applications in the HCM space consist of four components. We've got uh, the HR component, mm. we have the talent management on the Landmark platform, we have workforce management, which was acquired from WorkBrain several years ago, and um, we also have the Enwisen um, acquisition, which came really through Lawson, but it's the human resource service delivery platform. And the approach that uh, the Infor Lawson team is taking is to combine those four applications together mm. under a unified look and feel within Wizen. But the reality is, for customers, there are still point-to-point -point integrations between each of those four uh, components. Mm. HR to talent management requires a, an integration, a bi-directional integration. And I believe that as uh, the, the Lawson team starts to leverage the Infor 10 platform, those integrations will become much smoother uh, a, a seamless user experience, the ability to really surface analytics mm. um, contextually using the new workspaces capability in Infor 10, and just really making a much s more seamless, richer experience for the customers and their end users. Okay, and you're you're very interested in the the social capabilities that sit behind some mm -hmm. of this stuff. So, w what have you seen there, and how do you assess? what Infor has done in relation to perhaps the remainder of the market, or perhaps they can't be uh, viewed in that way, but yeah. your, your, your point. So we're definitely seeing in the market in general a tremendous increase in, in the use of social mm. networking capabilities. Yeah. Um, Lawson has started to introduce social into their applications. I was really excited to see that in their recruiting, for example, they've, Im they've uh, integrated social components. So uh, linking into the LinkedIn profile, for example, and being able to bring some of that, that uh, visibility of the external social profile. Mm. It's a great start. But that's just a beginning. And really what I'm looking to um, Lawson and Infor combined is to expand their approach to social in their applications. Mm. When I was looking at the uh, Infor uh, 10 platform, they have some collaboration capabilities, but they're not really meeting the full needs of a, a full social networking platform. Mm. And I really believe that to be successful in the future of work, uh, Infor Lawson is going to have to embed a full social component into the DNA of their technology as opposed to plugging in activity streams or uh, the, oh. the... Okay, well, <laughs> okay, so I guess at the bottom line is I'm seeing some components, yep. but I'm not seeing the whole solution. Right. But they're making a step, and frankly, it's a step in the right direction. Mm. And again, coming back to customers, in your conversations with customers, is it, are these the sort of things where you, where you know that you can articulate a good story? Is it the sort of thing that they they believe that they will want going forward? Because, you know, at least one customer I spoke to said, 
hmm, you know, I'm not so sure about this social stuff. I'm not certain that it makes sense. I mean, have they made this? Have they made the story well, or do they need some more education? What, what's your view there? So, my audience is the HCM audience, yep. and honestly, the HCM buyers are still trying to understand the full value of social. Mm. It's very clear that you need to link into social platforms for recruiting. Mm. And again, I'll reiterate that Lawson has made a great move to incorporate that into their mm. solutions. Mm. Um, to really articulate the benefits of social in the broader talent management um, processes, mm. it, it's going to take some more education of the space. Okay. Where would you like them to be in, say, a year's time when presumably we'll come back and... Yeah, so I've actually talked to the, uh, the team about their roadmap, and one year from now, I fully expect to see workspaces replacing many of the manager and employee self-service pages that they mm. brought together to aggregate um, transactions. So it'd be a lot more streamlined? I'm looking for more streamlined solutions. Mm. I'm looking for better contextual intelligence in these processes. And I'm looking for a transformation of the mobile applications. Mm. So really leveraging the motion platform mm. to to make those um, those mobile applications just really sing for their, their I, I saw some bits on them on the motion stuff and it was and I saw some kind of vaguely socially looking things and it was like it wasn't clear to me that it all hung together as nicely as I would have liked. Yeah, so what you'll see in a lot of the applications today and even in the recruiting space is, you know, activity stream type information. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And again, that's the common start. Yeah, yeah. Um, but where you really start getting feedback incorporated so you can leverage the feedback of the, the enterprise on individuals and use that in performance reviews um, to be able to, um, you know, find experts immediately and, and through location sensing, who's near to you. Mm -hmm. I mean, those things take a little while to, to get to. Okay. And that's what I'm looking for a year from now. I want to see social as a greater part of their solution, and again, a richer experience that brings intelligence into these applications. Okay. Yvette Cameron, the future of work. You heard it here first. Thank you, Dennis. Thank you. <laughs>